In this video, we're going to have a look at the normal distribution and some different properties of what's known as a bell curve. Now, when we start graphing histograms, we start analyzing the shapes of histograms. And there are many different situations that when we analyze the shape of a histogram, we'll actually find that it's got the shape of what we call a normal distribution. And a normal distribution shape is like I've got just here, where it's symmetrical on both sides. Now, this shape, if we draw it like this, we can see it's sort of in the shape of a bell, so we call this curve a bell curve. And if it's a perfect normal distribution, you'll actually find that the mean will be at the highest peak of the bell curve, and it'll be perfectly symmetrical on either side of that mean. What we're going to focus on today is the relationship that exists between the mean and what we call a standard deviation. It's important to note, I'm not going to talk about how we calculate a standard deviation in this video, but rather how the standard deviation relates to the bell curve. And the first thing I want to look at is, you'll notice that I've got different percentages inside different areas of the graph. If we actually add on three standard deviations and subtract three standard deviations from our mean, what we'll actually capture is 99.7% of all the data of our histogram, assuming, of course, that it's a perfect normal distribution. What that means is there's only 0.3% of the data that will actually fall outside of three standard deviations away from our mean point which means the vast majority of the data will be captured within three standard deviations. And that brings us to what we call the 68, 95, 99.7 properties of a bell curve. And that's to say, if we were to go one standard deviation away from the mean, plus or minus, we'll actually capture 68% of the data. If we move two standard deviations away from the mean, so that's from here through to here, we'll capture 95% of the data. So already we've nearly got all the data just going plus or minus two standard deviations away from the mean. And like we talked about at the start, if we move three standard deviations away from the mean, we actually capture 99.7% of the data. Now, due to the symmetrical properties of a bell curve, you can actually break this up and start looking a little bit more detailed about the individual percentages on different sections of the bell curve, as I've indicated on the graph here. I'm not going to go into detail about them, you can read these for yourself, but it's important to understand about the bell curve that the majority of the data falls within three standard deviations. One standard deviation away from the mean will be 68% of the data, two standard deviations from the mean will be 95% of the data, and three standard deviations will be 99.7% of the data.